The Grand Council of Fascism has voted to claim all of the Balkans. But what does Balbo think? The same, of course. Italy will become the ruler of the Balkans. So we began with claiming the Yugoslav coastal states as ours. Some time later, we sent an ultimatum to the Yugoslavs, urging them to give up their lands. But they didn't accept. This means we can go to war with them. But we aren't ready. The Spanish still need our help, even though we capitulated the Carlists for them. And if we attack Yugoslavia, we would find ourselves in a two-front war. The French are still guaranteeing them. But we are ready to invade another nation, Albania. We launched our naval invasions and landed in their biggest coastal cities. After only 5 days and 20 dead on our side, the Albanians and King Zog surrendered. This is our first completely successful military operation. Balbo has really managed to reform our military. We will now ask Bulgaria if they want to join the Italian League. Of course they joined, why wouldn't they? Meanwhile, our volunteers had encircled the anarchists in Barcelona and captured the city. In Russia, we had reached the Ural Mountains. Anyways, with Bulgaria as our ally, we are ready to plan the invasion of Greece. We have four options. The first, we will invade through Albania. Once we have broken through, we will split up our army, one that will go towards Bulgaria and the other towards Athens. There might be a lot of mountains in the way, but this is a great training for our future wars. And if we only invade through Albania, we don't have to do any costly naval invasions. The second, we will naval invade the Peloponnese Peninsula. This will surely surprise the Greeks and we would be able to march into Athens. After that, they would have to send reinforcements from their northern fronts and we would attack there too. The third, we will naval invade Athens and the surrounding provinces immediately. There will be more troops here than on the Peloponnese Peninsula, but if we land, we would split it from the rest of Greece. After that, we would march north and south to finally capitulate the Greeks. The fourth. We will naval invade behind the Greek-Bulgarian lines around Thessaloniki, causing massive confusion. From there, we will encircle their whole Bulgarian army and try to march south and westwards. So, what plan do you think will make our invasion successful? To vote, go to my community post. And if you want to see me spin the wheel live, join my Discord server. Link to join in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.